Hello, this is Carolyn Bupert with the League of Women Voters of Portland. You're watching the video voters guide or you might be listening to it on podcast. We're here today to talk with candidates for the May, 20, uh, May 17th, 2022 primary election. All the candidates running for office were invited to participate. We ask the same candidates the same questions the number of questions they answer will be determined, determined by the length of their answers. In this process, we're thankful for the support of the Carol and Velma Sailing Foundation, the League of Women Voters of Portland Education Fund, the Weiss Foundation, and our media partner, Metro East Community Media. With me is Derek Peterson, who is running for Multnomah County Sheriff. Welcome, Mr. Peterson. Hi, how are you doing? Good. Please tell us a little about yourself, including why you decided to run for this office. Yeah, real quick, uh, I was born and raised here in Portland, Oregon, uh, North Portland. Went to Holy Redeemer grade school, Central Catholic High School, and ended up going to Portland State where I received my degree in administration of justice. Um, got involved in the profession of law enforcement after uh, getting a chance to do a practicum at Washington County Probation and Parole had excited me and ignited my, my passion to help other people out. I've been working with the Sheriff's Office now for 35 years, 25, close to 25 of those years has been spent in management. Uh, and I've worked at nearly every position on the correction side, the corrections division, uh, that's given me a wide range of, of knowledge about how to run that uh, the Sheriff's Office and be community oriented. Also I've been, uh, um, a leader within the context of uh, the, the community at large, as well as statewide, where I've been associated with organizations such as Portland Safety Action Co Coalition and other organizations that have come alongside me as endorse endorsers. Uh, statewide, I've had a chance to be one of a handful of people to uh, be invited to sit on committees uh, about police reform. And that's been extremely uh, useful, helpful. And as far as I've been able to give my expertise as I was in the emergency operations center during the uh, protest at, at the time. So I've had, and I'm, I'm continually uh, sitting on committees that are dealing with police reform. I'm also the National Organization of Black Law Enforcement Executives uh, president here in the Northwest where I've led uh, a series of, of uh, reforms and conversations around police reforms and just bringing people in our community together. So I'm excited about running. I've got a, a large contingency of people that are behind me, uh, endorsers that uh, are uh, across the board, whether it's faith-based leaders, political leaders, uh, business leaders, and the list goes on. I've got uh, five people from the uh, Portland school board and four uh, counselors from Gresham as uh, along with uh, Mayor Stovall out there in Gresham. And so everyone in between, and I'm just extremely ecstatic about that support. So it's given me the ability and uh, to be re ready to go ahead and be the uh, next sheriff of Multnomah County. And I'm excited about that. And uh, I'm, I'm just pa passionate about what's going on in our neighborhoods and, and in our our streets as we're struggling, there's the crisis at hand, and I want to be able to, to uh, work with our constituents out there in the community and our law enforcement uh, community partners to stem the tide of the, the violence that's out there. Thank you. You're watching the video voters guide, and I'm here with Derek Peterson, who is running for Multnomah County Sheriff. So what measures would you recommend to ensure prisoners' health and safety, including those with mental health and or addiction issues? So uh, we have a robust uh, uh, health, uh, health product in our jail system already. And I just wanna to continue to enhan enhance that. I think it's important to uh, reach out to organizations such as Disability Rights Oregon that has a pulse on how uh, mental health is a major issue in our jail systems and they have come alongside us in, in partnership. And I wanna to continue to, to create those kind of partnerships that help our, our folks out in, in jail, our adults in custody. We also, our robust partners have, uh, have a robust partnership with the Multnomah County Health Department 
who have been critical in uh, providing services for those who with mental health issues and also those who are uh, dealing with other addictive issues within uh, that that situation when they, they come in the jail uh, with opioid or um, alcohol or any kind of drug issues, drug abuse issues. We need to continue to press that. Uh, and I, I'm also looking to look at uh, bringing in a vitamin regimen into the, uh, the system as I think it would uh, help our, our adults in custody to be a little bit more healthier and kind of resist some of the, issue, the issues around flu and even the COVID issues that are going on uh, to help them out through, the, through that process of being incarcerated. So I look forward to having a more of a robust uh, program for our folks in custody. Thank you. What if any changes do you foresee you might make in the administration of the county jail and why? Well, I really would like to free up our lieutenants. Uh, they've been uh, increasingly given responsibilities for administrative purposes uh, to, to lead uh, shifts and lead um, their personnel. And it's been ex extre extremely difficult for them to get out and do the job that they were, they were hired for. So I'd like to restructure how we're using our lieutenants and, and figuring that way, that out. Uh, we have massive overtime that's going on and, and would like to meet with our union to figure out ways to augment what that looks like so that it's, the overtime is spread out so that our personnel aren't, the same personnel aren't ordered over, over, uh, over and over again uh, with that overtime. And so that would help our health and the mental health of our, of our staff that are dealing with issues on a daily basis, so it's pretty negative issues as, as that's concerned, but they do such a fantastic job on a day in, day, day in and day out basis to deal with these particular issues that happen in our, our jails. Thank you, Mr. Peterson. This concludes our video voters guide and podcast interview of Derek Peterson, who's running for Multnomah County Sheriff. Election day is Tuesday, is Tuesday May 17th. Thank you for taking the opportunity to become an informed voter, and I hope you will tell your family and friends about this resource. For more information on the election and this race, visit our websites. They are vote411.org and or lwvpdx.org. Thank you.